Hey friends, assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. So today's video, we are cooking. It's beef stew. It is a simple and delicious recipe with ingredients that can be found anywhere. So straight to the video, I am smoking the meat with, in my local language, tuchita okukalidira, to drain the blood out and it gives the meat a different good taste and smell. We usually put banana peels on top, but I did not have uh, the moment I did it, so I just did it anyway. After smoking it, I washed it first and then cut it into reasonable pieces. These are the ingredients I'll be using. It's one onion, two carrots, one green pepper, coriander, garlic, tomatoes, roiko, beef masala, or you can use curry powder, salt, black pepper, it's totally optional, and then water. First, we are going to add garlic, onions, and coriander. I love the way it makes the soup smell so good. A pinch of salt, and then we will let it boil. We add a little water. Plus the meat will produce the water itself and let it boil for as long as the water dries out. Because I want a nice, thick, clear soup, I'm going to blend the green pepper, tomatoes, carrots together. But if you want, you can just cut them the usual way we used to cut them and use them accordingly how you will see. When it had boiled for like three to four minutes, this is what it looked like. That soup is still white, but as it keeps boiling, it will keep changing. The water has dried up and this is just oil from the meat itself. It's time to add the tomatoes, green pepper and carrots. I like this method because the tomatoes tend to produce more water, thus giving more time for the meat to get ready. If you have kids that don't want to eat tomatoes and onions and green pepper, just blend them. And you don't want your meat tasting different from the soup, so it is always better that you put the tomatoes in here and they get ready as the meat also gets ready. Let the tomatoes boil and dry out before we can add other spices. It smells so good. I want to grab a piece already. So far you guys you've seen I've not used any oil at all. It's time to add beef masala or you can use curry powder if you have. Then I'll add roiko for that thickness and a pinch of black pepper before I can add water. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this video useful or helpful. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, comment, and share. Enjoy!